Happy weekend, folks. Hope you're all doing well. Some breaking news out there. As of last night, the Overwatch scene has not seen something like this in a long time. Some drama that ended a roster within 24 hours of being picked up, and honestly, a sucky situation all around as we approach OWCS, the Overwatch Championship Series, which is going to be the new series after the fall of the Overwatch League, something I personally am super excited for because we see a few lands, and we will see a lot more open qualifiers and rosters making these runs in Overwatch Esports now. But really bad news for a team who got signed by M80 just a day ago. And then a day later, well, the team has now all been dropped because a guy couldn't help but say the N-word a lot of times in Discord logs. Here it is. As on February 29th, M80, alongside, I believe, Space Station, maybe some other roster announcements out there, too. It was cool to see these teams signing OWCS rosters as they say, we just cooked, welcome the M80 Overwatch team, and they list them all out. Unfortunately, within 24 hours, it seems a burner account out there had held the logs of one of these players, that being S9, saying the n-word multiple times in discord logs and then chose the time where this team was signed to to then release these which by the way is a weird thing it's not a good thing to be saying these things it's very dumb for a player to be doing these things but it's also like someone out there held these logs fully knowing they might eventually be signed and then choosing to release them and not just costing that person but the entire team that's the part of this that kind of just that sucks. Saying today a burner account entered my DMs and gave me access to a couple images of S9MM, OG, and Mikey saying the hard R in Discord DMs and group chats. I have successfully verified the screenshots. I'll show you everything with the context below. I will not be showing you guys everything, but there are several screenshots of the S9MM player uh, saying those words, which then led to M80 making a statement saying recent information has come to light that does not align with our team's values. We have decided to part ways with S9MM from our Overwatch team we appreciate your understanding and continued support and where this gets very interesting is because apparently last night we were just a few hours away from roster lock for the first stage of OWCS thanks to McGravy I reached out to him to confirm this information and so this situation is completely fricked because you have to drop a player after signing the team and then you got to try and replace that player within a matter of hours and let me tell you it somehow gets even more unlucky because then another one of those players came forward and said Kaluj actually said I made my decision to retire yesterday as I felt did not have the passion or drive to continue to compete for now I did not want to let my team down or the org so I decided to step away last minute I truly am sorry for doing that to my team and this org I will however be uh, looking for other roles I believe maybe coaching or other things he further clarified also I made sure there was a replacement before leaving and even said I would play if one could not be found in time a very interesting tidbit there so you have m80 who signs this roster within 24 hours they find out they can't keep one player because he's going viral for all the hard r words he said in discord logs they decide to drop in they apparently have another player who also is going to retire but did have a replacement and so everyone's like what what is going on uh, maybe potentially needing to replace multiple players and m80 then out of nowhere decides they're going to drop the whole roster instead, something that was met with a lot of backlash, but we don't know the full details as to what was going on. This kind of shuffle hours before a lock has to be difficult for both sides, both the players, of course, and the org is probably like, what did we just get ourselves into? Like, what is this scene? We don't want to deal with this kind of stuff, which again, I don't know the, the finite details. I just know it's a sucky situation for everyone involved. It's finally then later on that night, M80 says, today we faced unexpected challenges as two key members of our newly signed Overwatch team departed or were released. We aim to build a cohesive unit, but circumstances led us to reassess our path. Rather than replacing the team with players committed elsewhere, we've decided it's best for all parties to part ways. We release our remaining players to pursue new opportunities and compete in the OWCS and wish these players nothing but success. Stay tuned for further updates. Thank you for your understanding and continued support. And I'm like, God, I just feel so bad for this lineup who could not have possibly predicted all of these things to happen within like 24 hours of not just being signed, but then of roster lock locking in for this stage one. A quick shout to anyone out there possibly looking for a team. A few of these guys have come back together. They call themselves WD40 if you guys are interested. But what a just... 
I, 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 I say this often where like, I've never seen anything like this, but welcome to eSports, where within 24 hours of signing an Overwatch team for the brand new Overwatch Championship Series or OWCS, you have one player get outed for racial slurs and he has to be dropped. Another player wants to be retired and then the organization and players are forced to somehow come up with some resolution in a matter of hours, which just wasn't made to, to, made to happen. And it just, it sucks, man. It really sucks for these players because... Uh, it's something about it. Obviously, being a player and saying those words, guys, we've said it time and time again. Don't be an idiot. Like, don't say slurs. It can cost you your career, let alone it can cost your teammates a potential opportunity, people who have done nothing wrong. That's the worst part about this. And it just, something about it just rubs me the wrong way, especially someone out there who, who left, who kept these logs for this moment. And maybe they didn't realize they were going to cost five, six, half a dozen other people, their jobs, but they did. And, uh, it's terrible, man. So, uh, what do you guys think? I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my coffee and water. Maybe some, some buffed as well. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. We got a lot of news coming. Thanks for subbing and leaving comments. We appreciate you guys. And hopefully sometime this year, we want to go to an event, maybe a DreamHack, and cover some of these OWCS rosters because I am excited for this open format and I do think there's a lot of potential and I hope teams like M80 still want to sign a team and I hope this team gets signed as well. Till next time, take care guys.